Hi guys, my name is Ruth. Welcome to my channel. This is where I normally vent about everyday life and my fibro and all that fun stuff. But I need a vent about everything that's happening right now. And it's a lot. It feels like it's the end of the world, but it better not be because I still have so much to do. Um, but I am now working from home because of COVID-19. I always wanted to work from home. I loved the idea of working from home and now it's taken over my bedroom. Uh, my bed's over there. My husband's desk is on that side, right over there. And then my desk is right here, closet, door, it's taken over our bedroom and it gives me so much anxiety to work from home. No, it gives me so much anxiety to have this constant reminder in my bedroom. This is my safe place. This is where I go to relax, to hide away from from everything when everything just becomes too much, when, when I can't take the pain. Um, and now I don't have my safe spot. I don't have a place for me to hide out because it this is in here it's a constant reminder of everything that we are going through and I I am definitely a homebody I love to be home this is why we've made everything in our home or we've tried to make it as like a little sanctuary for us but we don't have that safe place anymore. It's like we have to be home because we need to keep ourselves safe and others safe. We don't want to get anyone sick. We don't want to get sick. We don't want to be the cause for someone else's illness or ultimately, you know, not going to go there, but it's a possibility. So we're home. I'm thankful for my home. I'm thankful that I get to work because there are many people out there who are not able to work. So I'm, I'm very thankful. I'm very thankful that I get to stay home. I'm very thankful that I, I can be here and be in, under the same roof that my kids are. Uh, they're, they're amazing. They're doing great. They are for the most part taking care of themselves. I, they just come in here and give me hugs every 30 minutes because they really miss me. Um, they are doing yoga, they're doing dancing because of YouTube, they're doing art lessons through YouTube, uh, they've signed up to Khan Can Academy, um, so they're doing their learning classes through there. We're in touch with their teachers and um, they're being very helpful when it comes to their education and no one was ready for this. No one would have in a million years been prepared for this, but um, the teachers are doing so much with so little that they've been given. Um, so that's awesome. I don't understand why some people are dissing on the teachers and the school districts when why would we ever be prepared for anything like this? This shouldn't have happened, and that's what makes me so angry um, that it got to this point. Um, without going into crazy politics, I just wish our government would have done more um, right away. I wish other governments would have been more honest with what was happening, but... I have lost, I just checked, seven pounds. Seven pounds in the last two weeks. I've been home officially for two weeks tomorrow now. Um, and I have lost seven pounds. Why, you ask? Because I am on the anxiety diet. <laughs> I, um, when I get really anxious, I become really nauseous. Like, imagine gross pregnancy, nausea, can't keep anything down, can't smell anything, can't be around food, can't even listen to, like, someone mention food. 
it is that bad. Um, the TMI, like the saliva in my mouth is just like so much from the nausea. Um, but I was finally able to eat two meals today. Very light, just pasta. Um, and then um, my honey made me some arroz con leche because I really miss my mom and I haven't been able to see her. We've been FaceTiming, but um, it just brought me some comfort and that seemed to help. Uh, but this damn anxiety is ridiculous. Like, I'm a very anxious person now and I hate it because I feel like I can't be there 100% for my kids and they are definitely feeling it. They're feeling sad, they miss their friends, they miss their teachers, they miss the classroom. They want to go back to their normal lives and the way we've tried to explain it to them is the world is sick. So the amusement park is sick, the library is sick, the park is sick, the stores are sick, and we cannot go to those places till they feel better. And that seems to help my five-year-old, um, but we need to take a moment and be there for them because they even my 10 year old she says she understands but i i can see it in her face i can hear it in her voice and they are feeling this they just don't have the words for it and as a parent is hard as a parent you want to tell them everything's going to be okay and mean it and it's really hard to mean it right now but I need to keep telling myself that too because it's going to be okay we are going to get through this and we will come out as better people after this um, my heart goes out to everyone out there taking care of everyone the doctors the nurses the cnas the techs the ambulance workers the social workers the teachers anyone who's out there taking care of their neighbors their friends um thank you thank you for doing that thank you some for showing some human kindness um we still do need to keep staying away from each other social distance stay home even if you're going crazy stay home find something to do i started bullet journaling and while i do that my head is so stuck in what i'm drawing or writing that i get to finally really get out of my head and that's been amazing because all i see all i hear is COVID-19, coronavirus. I had to take Facebook off of my homepage on my phone because it just pulls you in and the anxiety would go up and then I couldn't sleep and it's, it's scary shit out there. It's terrifying. Those numbers scare the crap out of me and I just, I, I can't, I can't do it anymore. I really can't do it anymore. I'm done and so I finally did that I almost logged out of it completely but um, I wanted to keep checking in on a few friends and so I didn't do that I just removed it and I'll go in there maybe once a day or every couple days to check in to make sure um, my peeps are okay um, and so I can check in with a group that I have for Alex's teacher in his classroom um, but maybe let's start posting after this video maybe let's start posting things that don't have anything to do with this unless it's something that everyone needs to know because we have new information but let's stop talking about numbers let's stop talking about this virus let's put more positive out there more more um funny things more i don't know art anything i i can't read another post about numbers and 
masks and I personally just can't anymore. It's it's a lot. Um, but there, I'm done ranting. Thank you for watching me rant. Thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it more than you will ever know. Um, let's keep on going. Let's keep moving forward. We got this, y'all. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.